What is up YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to show you a, a cool little tool called the Width Tool, which can be found over here. And it's one of those tools that you don't necessarily know exists until you either need it or you stumble upon it. And for, for my case, I was kind of looking up how to do uh, something kind of like this, you know, the little curly cues, swirlies, uh, the fancy decoration, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes they kind of look like squirts. Squirt's a weird word, so I'll probably just call them curlies or swirlies. So let's get started. I'll probably just do black on white. Um, and I probably won't go into any of the other decoration. I'll probably just show you strictly how to make this. And then you can use your imagination and go from there. Uh, okay, so an easy way, one of the ways you can do it is, you know, you can just grab the pen tool and, you know, make some curves, whatever, and do it like that. And I'm going to get rid of the fill color. I'll probably turn the stroke weight up. Uh, maybe to like 4 or 5. 5 is good. And then the way it works is if you if you go over here and select this tool. You may have to have this selected. I'm not exactly sure. If you select this, you'll see that you have a little squiggly line underneath the arrow. And you can kind of see the little, the little white ball that's going across the, the line. And you know, if you click anywhere and drag out, it'll make it wider. And so, the, like, that's pretty cool. And then, you know, once you have it made, uh, you can drag it back in or drag it even farther out. But you gotta watch out because if you do it too far out, it might start making weird shapes like this. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty neat. And you know, and then from there, you can select it again and maybe do the edge and make the edge a little bit wider you know but I kinda like that that's uh, kinda cool and another way you can do it is if you if you want it to be like circular or perfect you can make a circle turn the stroke weight up a little bit mm, yeah three is okay maybe four and if you get your direct select you can actually select so like a, a circle is basically four points and then like four lines connecting the points so if you select one of the lines that connects the two points and hit delete it'll actually make it into a shape like this and so from there you would just get the width tool and you would just do the same thing you would just drag it out and so there you go now you have this cool like gradated width swirl and you can add it to you know like another line you can put a line on here and you know change change the width and I'm pretty sure if you select these two points and go to object path join yeah it all makes it the same line but then that messed up the the thing so you can just go back over here and do it again and you can see that it's kind of adding in down here too which is fine and uh, so let's say you want to add some more um, I'll just make another circle maybe a little bit smaller and I'll do the same thing except this time I will delete two of the lines or maybe just half and so like there's my new shape and I'll just take the new shape up here and try to line it up with uh, this point or somewhere on this line and you can enlarge it a little bit and maybe move it this way some and then so now I'll get the width tool again and I'll just make this one like that and so that's starting to look kinda cool <laughs> I mean of course this is just a quick demo but uh, you guys' imaginations will do the work um, and then maybe you want to add some up here that's just uh, maybe a little bit like a half cut or I don't know what to call it like not like a circle but you know just get the pin tool and um, maybe make one like that and you know all with the tool this a little bit and you know like that and so yeah you'd add a couple one of those maybe one going this way maybe another one going that way and eventually just messing with it over and over you'll be able to make like see all this is is a line this is basically a line underlining the word and then this is basically like a half one maybe and then uh, a three-quarter circle you know like I took out one uh, a quarter of it and then like another circle wrapping around and then like another one and then like three little things and then I basically just copy pasted that up here and I was like well dang that looks pretty cool <laughs> So, yeah, 
use this and um, use your imagination with it. You can do lots of things with it. Um, like I think if you just draw a circle and get the width tool, you can make like part of the circle larger. And so that could make like for a cool effect. You could easily get, you know, like a circle within a circle without having to draw two circles. And if you do like a square, uh, I would think you could do it on, yeah, check that out. That's pretty cool. Um, you can basically do it on anything that has a line, like a line, a pin tool line, um, a rectangle, a square, an oval, a circle. It's, it's really cool. It's a, it's, um, a good way to get different thicknesses for your projects. And with that, I think I will end this episode. Hopefully this helped you guys. I know it's kind of a simple tool that you may not always use, but it's still a cool one to look at and mess with. So I hope you guys have had a great week, and I will see you guys next Sunday with a brand new video.